to you I call, for you will surely heed me, O God. Turn your ear to me, hear my words. Guide me as the apple of your eye, in the shadow of your wings protect me. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Let's call to mind our shortcomings and failures. Ask God's pardon and forgiveness for the worthy celebration of this most holy Eucharist. We shall pray together, I confess, to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I failed to do. Through my heart, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary of Virgin, all the angels and saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. May your grace not forsake us, O Lord, we pray, but make us dedicated to your holy service and at all times obtain for us your help through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and uh, ever. A reading from the book of the prophet Daniel. As Zariah stood up in the fire and prayed aloud, For your name's sake, O Lord, do not deliver us up forever, or make void your covenant. Do not take away your mercy from us for the sake of Abraham, your beloved, Isaac, your servant, and Israel, your holy one, to whom you promised to multiply their offspring like the stars of heaven or the sand on the shore of the seas. For we are reduced, O Lord, beyond any other nation, brought low everywhere in the world this day because of our sins. We have in our day no prince, prophet, or leader, no burnt offering, sacrifice, oblation, or incense, no place to offer first fruits to find favor with you. But with contrite heart and humble spirit, let us be received as though it were burnt offerings of rams and bullocks or thousands of fat lambs. So let our sacrifice be in your presence today as we follow you unreservedly, for those who trust in you cannot be put to shame. And now we follow you with our whole heart. We fear you and we pray to you. Do not let us be put to shame, but deal with us in your kindness and great mercy. Deliver us by your wonders and bring glory to your name, O Lord. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Remember your mercies, O Lord. Remember, Remember your, your mercies, mercies, O Lord. Your ways, O Lord, make known to me. Teach me your paths. Guide me in your truth and teach me, for you are God, my Savior. Remember, Remember your, your mercies, mercies o, Lord. o Lord. Remember that your compassion, O Lord, and your kindness are from of old. In your kindness, remember me because of your goodness, O Lord. Remember, remember your, your mercies, mercies, O Lord. Lord. Good and upright is the Lord. Thus he shows sinners the way. He guides the humble to justice. He teaches the humble his way. Remember, remember your, your mercies, mercies, O Lord. Lord. Praise to you, you Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. 
Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of Hellas glory. Even now, says the Lord, return to me with your whole heart, for I am gracious and merciful. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of Hellas glory. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Peter approached Jesus and asked him, Lord, if my brother sins against me, how often must I forgive him? As many as seven times? Jesus answered, I say to you, not seven times, but 77 times. That's why the kingdom of heaven may be likened to a king who decided to settle accounts with his servants. When he began the accounting, a debtor was brought before him who owed him a huge amount. Since he had no way of paying it back, his master ordered him to be sold, along with his wife, his children, and all his property, in payment of the debt. At that, the servant fell down, did him homage, and said, Be patient with me, and I will pay you back in full. Moved with compassion, the master of the servant let him go and forgave him the loan. When that servant had left, he found one of his fellow servants who owed him a much smaller amount. He seized him and started to talk him, demanding, pay back what you owe. Falling it to knees, his fellow servant begged to him, be patient with me, and I will pay you back. But he refused. Instead, he had him put in prison until he paid back the debt. Now, when his fellow servants saw what had happened, they were deeply disturbed and went to their master and reported the whole affair. His master summoned him and said to him, You wicked servant. I forgive you your entire debt because you begged me too. Should you not have had pity on your fellow servant as I had pity on you? Then in anger, his master handed him over to the torturers until he should pay back the whole debt. So will my heavenly father do to you unless each of you forgives your brother from your heart. The gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. One of the most unique teachings of Jesus is about forgiveness. Why we need to forgive our brothers and sisters instead of avenging or taking revenge. The scripture says two reasons. First, we believe in a God who is merciful and compassionate. The gospel passage of today. The scripture says the man owed him 
a huge amount. You know, which in his lifetime, he would not have been able to pay back to the king. And the king forgave all that. A kind, compassionate, merciful God. And now secondly, that same person who refused to forgive his fellow brother who owed him a very small amount. Just look at the contrast in life. And why we need to forgive our brothers and sisters. The second reason. We are called upon. To be perfect. As our heavenly father is perfect. That's our call. We are not called to be. You know better than my neighbors. Or better than people in my family or in the society we are called upon to be perfect like our heavenly father and what's our heavenly father he is merciful compassionate you know if you read in Jeremiah chapter 31 33 Prophet says, it's not only God forgives the iniquities of his people, he remembers their sins no more. Forgiving also is forgetting. And we believe in a God who is forgiving, who is merciful who is compassionate. Jesus told Peter 70 times 7. We are in this beautiful season, season of Lent. And in a special way, this season invites us first to seek the mercy from the Lord. And secondly, if we have offended anyone, forgive them, ask forgiveness from them. And if someone else have offended us, forgive them from the bottom of our hearts. So that during this beautiful season, we can experience the mercy from our God who is compassionate. Let's place our prayers and petitions before the Lord, asking his blessings. For Francis, our Pope, William, our Bishop, all the leaders of the church, we pray to the Lord. Leaders of the world, that they may seek the mercy and compassion of the one true God, so that they can be merciful and compassionate to the people they take care. We pray to the Lord. Let's also pray for ourselves that in this beautiful season, if someone has offended us, that we may forgive all of them from the bottom of our hearts. We pray to the Lord. For the spiritual and physical well-being of all operationists, we pray to the Lord. In the silence of our hearts, let's place our personal intentions before the Lord.
Let's remember and pray for all the faithful departed, especially for Alfred and Belba Pintak, for whom this Mass is being offered. We pray to the Lord. God, our loving Father, we bring our prayers and petitions before you. The liturgy of today reminds us that we are called to be perfect like our Heavenly Father. And our Heavenly Father is merciful, compassionate, forgives iniquities of his people. Grant us the grace if someone has offended us that we may forgive them from the bottom of our hearts. Make this prayer through Christ uh, our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord, good of all creation. For your goodness, we have this bread to offer, fruit of the earth, work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. By the mingling of this wine and water, we may come to share the divine to Christ who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord, good of all creation. Through your goodness, we have this wine to offer, fruit of the vine, work of human hands. It will become for us our spiritual drink. Lord God, be pleased with the sacrifice we offer you with a humble and contrite heart. Lord, wash away our iniquities and cleanse us from our sins. Praise sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice in your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and good of all His holy church. May the holy partaking of this mystery give us life, O Lord, we pray. Grant us, O Lord, we pray, that this saving sacrifice may cleanse us of our faults and become an oblation pleasing to your almighty power through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with him. Lift up your hearts. Let's give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you will that our self-denial should give you thanks, humble our sinful pride, contribute to the feeding of the poor, and so help us imitate you in your kindness. And so we glorify you with the countless angels as with one voice of praise, as we acclaim, holy, holy, holy Lord, Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fond of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us 
the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving things, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was he ended, he took the chalice. And once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and bring from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, William, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in a mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. How mercy and all we pray that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who are pleased to you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O oh God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and uh, ever. Of the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Or lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not in our sins, but in the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and uh, ever. The peace and joy of the Lord be with you always. Lamb of God, may the man and the body and bread of our Lord Jesus Christ bring eternal life to those who receive it, Lord Jesus Christ. Son of the living God, while the Father and the Holy Spirit, your death brought life to the world. Free me by your most holy body and blood from every sin and evil, and keep me always faith to your commandments, and never let me part from you.
Behold the Lamb of God, behold the Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ keep us safe for eternal life. Prayer for spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire you with all my heart. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, I ask you to come spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you are already in my heart and unite myself to you completely. Please do not let me ever be separated from you. Amen. Lord, who may abide in your tent and dwell in your holy mountain, who walks without fault and does what is just. Let us pray. May the holy partaking of this mystery give us life, O Lord, we pray and grant us both pardon and protection through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go forth, the Mass is ended. So thank you everyone for being part of this Eucharistic celebration, and you have a wonderful day.